Okay, the buzz UG. My name is uh, Melaz Milo, aka Fula, and I'm back to keep you posted on what is happening in the country. Now, uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, um, uh, Melaz Milo, aka Fula, that side. Now, another journalist has died. Yes, another journalist identified as uh, Peter Kole Kagawa has died. Uh, this one was a presenter at uh, UBC Butebo Channel and uh, he was also working on Magic FM. Uh, Kagawa was born in Namutumba District, Bulanke Sub-County. And of course, I think uh, that is where he's going to be buried. Of course, I know you're asking yourself what was uh, the cause of death. Uh, Peter Kole Kagawa died of cancer. As you can see in that first picture, he was uh, looking very okay, very healthy, very handsome. But, uh, you know, in that picture, he was, uh, you know, so bad. Uh, his condition had deteriorated until when we lost him. May his soul rest in peace. Now, two UPDF soldiers have been shot dead by a warrior in Longaru sub-county, that is in Kotido district. Yes, uh, two UPDF soldiers have been shot dead in Longaru sub-county, that is in Kotido district. Uh, the incident happened at Narubela Trading Center over the weekend. Yes, uh, that is where the incident happened. Uh, so far, we don't have uh, more details about this story from uh, the UPDF, uh, but of course, we hope that um, they'll be giving us more details on uh, this story, and uh, I'll be keeping you posted right here on the buzz ug now if you have been following my updates right here on the buzz ug in the morning i told you about the warning issued by the uk government indicating that uh, any time from now uganda is likely to experience another terror attack yes in the morning i told you that information and uh, the spokesperson of uh, updf brigadier general felix kulaije and uh, the minister of foreign affairs that is horrible okelo oriem have responded and i have their replies right here on the buzz ug uh, for starters, I want us to look at uh, the reply from uh, the spokesperson of uh, UPDF, that is uh, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije. I want to post his statement on the screen so that we read it together. Now, in his own words, he said, uh, we don't have a specific threat. Uh, terrorism is a threat across the world. And uh, as you are aware, the UK itself, uh, US and uh, France have been attacked before. Uh, terrorism has no borders and uh, doesn't look for color. This country is not governed by the UK. This country has a government that cares about the security of its people. The security agents here have been on alert and uh, that is why we are able to bust terror cells wherever they are. So yeah, that is a statement coming from uh, the spokesperson of uh, UPDF, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, speaking about the terror alert issued by the government of uh, UK. And uh, I still have a reply from uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, that is uh, Horrible Okelo Oriem. He was actually in an interview on NTV Uganda, and uh, I did manage to get an audio for you. Let's first of all listen to this big man, but um, uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Haji Mukisa Karimo Msomi Wedua, the number is on your screen. Make sure that you call him and uh, let him know about what is disturbing you. He will get everything sorted within a blink of an eye. But if you were to investigate and follow uh, what happens in these bigger countries who are now giving advisories to uh, their citizens not to come to Uganda, or when they come to Uganda, they, they should take caution. You will always find that they themselves are continuously under terrorist attacks more than the ones that took in Uganda. The only difference is that they have a more sophisticated network of, of security and they avert those terrorist attacks before it hits them. We don't have the borders of Uganda with the DRC, with Sudan, with Kenya and all the neighboring countries are very porous. And we don't have the kind of sophisticated satellite imageries, all those uh, facilities to make sure that we know everything that moves on our borders. That is why they, they, catch, they, they catch us. Maybe, but, the, maybe, but, maybe, maybe. Let me assure you, in no uncertain terms, that United Kingdom every year averts more than 10 to 15 to 20 terrorist attacks every year. Maybe this sophisticated uh, technology is the one that is aiding aiding them to know what we don't you know as government country that maybe there's something that is happening or about to happen that we may not be able to avert as you say. That, 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 could, that, could, that, could, that could be true but if that was the case why didn't they uh, alert us in the issue in the recent attack uh, terrorist attack in Poway? 
Uh, but why did they alert us? Why did they alert us when there was an attack over 10, 15 years ago when the, attack, when, uh, the people are watching the World Cup in, uh, in, in the rugby, rugby stadium? So, uh, as much as they have the sophisticated equipment, they have never helped us with it. But they use it for the for, But when it comes to their own personal interest, which is okay, they use it. But these so, people are the but but, but, uh, but if you see the, the the timing and the wording of the of this uh, UK advisory uh, travel advisors to maybe England. before we got the wording, I know that in 2021 October they issued a similar advisory, and in November 2021, a month later, we were hit by terrorists on at, along Parliament Avenue, but also at the CPS in Kampala. But um, as, as I told you earlier, okay, uh, these informations, if they ha uh, are generalized informations, they are not pr precise informations. If they have that information that Uganda is a prone to attack by terrorists, why do they tell us who 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 who, uh, who they are? Why do they give us the details? Why do they share it with our intelligence services? Why would they come to Minister of Foreign Affairs and see me? Or see JJ Odong as friends and said Munangi, uh, we want to inform you in Uganda that we have this kind of intelligence showing us that there's a probable attack from the air from the Al Shabaab or, or ADF and it probably will come from this place and that place and that place instead of issuing a generalized uh, uh, you know travel advisory. As, as foreign affairs, have we also tried to reach out to them if they have not? Two wrongs don't make a right. Have you tried to reach out to them and assure them? We, we, we will reach out to them now. We will reach out to them. Uh, we, we see we saw this thing over the weekend, and we will reach out to them and ask them on what basis uh, have they have they have they issued this basis? Of course, we have to reach out to them because uh, uh, why did they issue this? If they are real friends, as they say, they should uh, uh, they should have informed us internally first before they came.